So, so, so hot tip here, top tip for all you Gen Z and Gen Alphas, if you truly, truly, truly care about global warming and climate change and saving the environment, take fewer selfies. With events like Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, and Fukushima, it's a heavy task for anyone wanting to change how we think about nuclear energy. Well, Isabel Bemaki is up for the challenge. And here's the amazing thing. It's working. Isabel, along with her social media alter ego, Isodope, has found a very modern way to help us understand the truths of nuclear electricity, how it may be the best solution we've got to tackle climate change, and offer us a reliable source of electricity to power our AI future. I am so curious <laughs> how a young girl who grows up in Brazil, who Unlike other little girls who dream of being, you know, I don't know, a princess, <laughs> <laughs> that you're, you became obsessed with nuclear electricity. Where in a young girl's, <laughs> where in a young girl's, you know, upbringing, you know, do you discover nuclear plants? I remember being about six years old and just... <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, of oh, course okay. not. okay. All right. <laughs> my, bar my Barbie nuclear power plant? Actually, I, what I'm about to tell you is probably boring because I did grow up with Giselle Bunchen as the Brazilian icon. Right. And Fa supermodel. She was, yes. The I mean, I think she was categorized as an uber model which is goes beyond the it's super higher than model. supermodel it's, a, it's, it's like there a is supercar a whole, and a hypercar yeah that. totally there is a what whole... makes what makes a, 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 a supermodel an uber model and what's a i believe the earnings oh i believe at the peak of her career giselle was making like 42 million dollars a year and the second top model was making something like 16. It was just the, the gap between wow. her and every okay. other supermodel was gigantic. Right. Okay, so, so you, you, you... So I grew up with Giselle being, right. you know, this... She was also from the same state as I am, which is this southernmost state in Brazil. It's very specific because it doesn't, it doesn't feel like Brazil. You know, if I tell you I'm from Brazil, you think of Rio, you, th you think of the beach, the Amazon forest. And this place where I'm from and where Giselle's from is like Texas. It's okay. just like a bunch of farmland and cattle and just like people grow corn and just agriculture in general. Okay. A lot of German descendants, the good Germans. I always make sure I clarify that. That's true because there were a lot of Nazis who fled to Brazil. Yes. Um, That's true. My and last name is German. But I, I made my dad track down the whole genealogy just to, make sure to, to make 